I talk shit, get hit. Three. Nope, no hitting here. This is for the boomers too, or beginning Gen X age group who are raising kids and they want to do things different and better. The topic today is be their parent, not their friend. In my book, Parenting Scholar Athletes, I have a chapter all about this. I do understand that you want to have that connection as a friend with your kids, especially as they kind of get a little bit older in the middle school, high school age, but you still have to be that mother giving them the rules and consequences. As a mom, we want them to just be happy in everything that they do. So sometimes we are the ones getting too much involved with either their sport, uh, say debate club, whatever it is, where they start to feel frustrated. The frustration might come from them not getting enough playtime or they're not being seen or heard on their team. And that brings something up in us. Because as we grew up as kids, we might not have been seen or heard, or we couldn't feel safe enough to talk and speak up. There are some parents who try to start taking it upon themselves with love to talk to a coach or go to a higher person to help their child not feel so frustrated. But that's really not something we should do. Remember, if you are going to the coach instead of your daughter, then you are taking that opportunity or practice time for them to discuss to, and talk to a coach. They're going to need to do this when they get older, in high school, if they go to college, at their job. So we need to remember, let them practice doing it themselves. Also, you don't want to create a weird aura within her team where then the other players are looking differently at her. We don't want to start drama where we don't need to. What a perfect opportunity for our kids to speak up and practice doing this with other adults and not just their parents. Here are some steps you can take when this comes up. Maybe First of all, be a listener. Listen to their frustrations and really take it in. Then review with them the manners in which they are allowed to speak to coaches. Here's a good time to give clear and truthful criticism to your child, but then also offer to set up a time that they can talk to their coach. That kind of helps them, somebody who might be feeling a little shy, to help them get there. And then go over, practice, hey, what do you wanna to say to the coach? And you can be that pretend coach for them. If you then feel like these feelings of frustration to take control of the situation as the mom is coming from somewhere in you, don't forget to stop and look at that. Here's some steps you can take for that. Some questions you can ask yourself is, why am I feeling like this? And where from my past is this coming up? Maybe in your past, you wanted somebody to stick up for you, but they weren't there. So what you can do is now feel how you're feeling. Give yourself forgiveness for what happened and others. It was something that happened in the past. You can forgive them for that. And then work on yourself and remind yourself and promise yourself that you will speak up when needed. This might be a really great time to find yourself a good therapist. Through our work or through insurance, you could do this a few times a week during your lunchtime and really start working on yourself. Therapists are wonderful people who can help us see where we can change. They can give us tools and strategies to work on these feelings when they pop up for us. And they can also help us learn to forgive and let these go. Also, surround yourself with these positive memes and quotes. Those will really be helpful. Remember the biggest thing that you can do here is 
to be the best model to your child by you seeking out a therapist or reading self-help books. You are modeling to your child things that they will be able to do when they get older. Until next time, be you and continue to show your love and expand your heart.